Hello and welcome to Cambonize. In this video we'll be looking at board design and portfolio Kanban. So here we are back in the dashboard area with our single workspace. Tutorials seems inappropriate. Now we're diving deeper. So let's rename it. We'll call it the Widgets Company. We still have our six boards, the mailroom, team beta, the IT team, marketing, alpha team, and our old friends in production. Let's drop in to see what they've been up to. By the looks of things, Bob, the production manager, has been busy. The workflow has been refined. More subcolumns breaking things down and cells merged to speed work through where appropriate. The done area has also been enlarged to incorporate a stage to help track documentation. And a few new swim lanes have been added, each representing a product line or operational team. We have expedited, as before, but now we also have bespoke and economy lanes, as well as an area for prototyping. We seem to have quite a few whip limits set up to avoid loss of focus, and if we zoom in a bit, we can see that each of the teams are using card templates to speed up getting cards onto the board. One cloud on the horizon is the maintenance team. It makes sense for their workflow to be included with this board, but their style of work just doesn't follow the same stages. We'll get back to this in a moment. Up the top, Bob has started using the initiative lane to track ongoing works on a larger scale, but he's also set up his backlog area to represent the quarters of the year. Individual teams have also got access to a backlog area, although they tend to use theirs for housekeeping and general in-team initiatives. The Economy Widgets team have a bit of training planned for one of their team members. We might be wise to set up a training workflow as well. So, let's go into the board designer, up the top here, under Edit Workflow. You can see the familiar structure of the initiative lane. Bob's got a dedicated swim lane for the maintenance team, which makes great sense, but still the team's workflow is all wrong. The most straightforward approach is to construct a unique workflow just for this specialist group of people. We hit create new cards workflow and away we go. This will take a couple of minutes, but I'll speed it up so you don't get bored. I'm keeping it pretty simple, but as with most of my workflows, I've put in an expedited lane for urgent maintenance requests and a standard flow for planned campaigns. Once again, we've factored paperwork tracking into the flow to make sure that full records are kept of all activity. While we're at it, let's quickly set up a basic training workflow so Bob can track where he's up to in his ongoing commitment to staff development. Now, all we have to do is apply some WIP limits. Then we go up top right and save. And here we are, back in the board. This is much better. There's a lot of information on display here but we can collapse any workflows that aren't of immediate importance. We can also adjust the card views by configuring them to need to know or simply zoom out a little. So, with a few minor changes, we've made a significant impact on the board. Our work won't stop here. We can keep refining this until we get it running like a Swiss watch. But for now, it should be enough to be getting on with. Let's go back to the dashboard area. We don't need to zoom in to any of the other departments. Let's assume that they're also progressing nicely. But who's managing all of this? 
Sally is the operations director and she's been intending to work out a better way of keeping up to date with her teams. The team leaders and Sally have a daily stand-up meeting for 10 minutes so she's kept up to date generally but it would be useful to get a better view of what's going on in between times. Nothing could be simpler to arrange. Let's set up a management workspace for her. When we hit Add Workspace, we're offered two options, either a team or a management workspace. Select the management option and then name it. We should also name the board. Now we're asked which individual boards we'd like to connect to the master board. Click the drop down and it will offer all the boards within the workspace that you have access to. Just select the boards you wish to pull into your management area and you'll be taken back to the dashboard. Management workspaces have a green banner as opposed to the team variety that are displayed as blue. We open it up and there, presented for inspection, are the initiative lanes of Sally's six departments. Related boards are always displayed below this rather definite black line. Above the line is Sally's personal initiative lane that can be further broken down into swim lanes and the backlog can be customised to perfectly suit her management focus. This level of detail is generally fine for Sally's style of working, although she always has the option to investigate anything that is hindering throughput in the departments under her control. Blockages can be tracked and stickers are great to mark projects to give everyone involved a heads up on important issues. When necessary, the individual components of an initiative can be zoomed into by tracing the dependencies down to a board or even a card level. Sally also has a handful of operations support staff reporting to her. Rather than construct a whole new board for this small group of people, we also have the option of constructing their own personalised workflows within the management workspace itself. Pretty impressive, huh? But this, in many ways, is just the beginning. Moving one level up in the hierarchy, the widget company might, perhaps, be an operating unit within a larger group of companies. This is no problem at all for the system. All we need to do is provide the same management view for Sally's boss, but this time he'll be looking at Sally's initiative lane as part of a number of other related workspaces. And so the hierarchy builds, yet it never loses the context of the individual team workflows that are making the whole enterprise possible. I think we should leave it there for the time being. I hope I have adequately outlined the scope and potential for using Portfolio Kanban, but as always, don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you have any questions at all. We're here to help. Happy Kanbanizing.